All right, so I finally got to watch the entire uh, uh, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, uh, Tim Walls interview um, from CNN last night. I finally got to finish it, um, and I will say, um, wasn't great, wasn't horrible. Um, she puts them out there, so that's 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 a win for her, I guess. But it's. Uh, it was okay. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't groundbreaking. It wasn't changing anything. I don't think anyone who liked her was not going to not vote for her already. Not. I don't think she lost any votes in the interview. I don't think she actually gained votes either. I don't think yet. I think that. I think the debate will be where I believe she'll gain the most traction if she's to actually win this race. I don't think she did anything, but I think for the first, you know. I think the problem here is this, is that because she waited so long to do this, um, and granted, I've explained to you guys why they waited long to do this. It was strategic. Um, obviously, they're not going to tell you that, but I kept telling y'all that the reason why they waited to do this was because they were literally fundraising the absolute fuck out of this campaign. And they didn't want to slow any momentum down. And I an interview, if she's, she gaps up something here, or she says something wrong here, could potentially lessen the amount of money they, the, the campaign can make moving forward. So I think that's the reason why they took their time with this one. They slow rolled this interview. Now, I don't necessarily agree with it. I think, you know, I think you need to put stuff out there. You need to have a, have a plan, have a, a message for people who are voting for you, or people on the fence to vote for you. I'm personally that guy, but that's just me, you know? At the end of the day, what they did wasn't illegal. It wasn't illegal. They weren't breaking any rules and all that. But it's just, it was more of a perception thing. But the interview was okay. It was it gave it a C plus. Okay, it was satisfactory. Um, I thought, if anything, Tim Walls, the the, the little moments he he was able to talk, probably was more defined into who he is as a candidate. And again. We say that, but VPs don't matter. Vice presidents really don't matter. I think I think we need we need to get ahead of our uh, get ahead of ourselves. The fact that people say, okay, for example, when people say, uh, you know, the Joe Biden administration and what what, what did Kamala Harris do, you know, what has she what has she done in the administration? You do understand that vice presidents literally have no no say, really, unless they're, unless unless they're advised on things. Um. The vice president's job is literally a job of I'm there just in case. Um, like literally, Speaker of the House has more. Outside of something happened to the president of the United States, you know, and it, whatnot, Secretary of State has more has more uh, roles, defined roles in VP. Uh, Chief of Staff has more defined roles. All all the, all the Treasury, you know, p- folks. You know, treasury. You know, education and, and all that. You go down the list. They have more defined roles and more jobs to do than VP. Like, Vice president is literally just a a piece there in case something happens to the president. That is it. And a tiebreaker vote in the Senate, which is actually the case for this administration. So I think we really, really overrate the vice president's role in in um, in, in the administration. We really do. Um, but like I said, it was not bad. It was not great. It was fine. She's out there. It's out there. It's in, it's, it's, it's in the it's in the ether now. You know, you, you can, people can dissect the interview on CNN. I thought Dana Bash. You know, the I think the one the one part of the interview that I, I love what Kamala did was when when they brought up the, the, the situation or the the, the the talking point about Donald Trump not calling her black or is she black now, and Kamala Harris said next question. I love that because at the end of the day. This is why this is what's been missing in politics for the last couple cycles now, and a lot of that has to do with Donald Trump too as well because you know he's, he's cold personality. Is that we need on both ends? We need to focus on policy talk, policy, policy, and all this shit about racial stuff and her. It, that was bait that she could have taken. I, I know. Let me say this. I know if that was Hillary Clinton, she would have made a, a, a laundry list of like 
grievances and so oh that's bad what he said you know you know Donald Trump is sexist and dude people already know that okay people already know how that people already have their defined have people already defined who Donald Trump really is whether you love him or hate him so to sit there and go into that and to whine and complain about that and have grievances about that at this point Kamala actually that was her the highlight of the whole, the whole interview was that she didn't take that bait into like diving into uh, oh well Donald Trump is sexist and this and that and I was offended by that and women should be offended people already know who Donald Trump is and if you love him or hate him they've already defined who Donald Trump is um, so that was if anything if it was any highlight of that interview that stood out for Kamala was that she didn't take the bait she kept the focus on policy um, even though to be honest with you it, it she, she left some on, some on the table, like some of the questions that, 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 that uh, was asked to her, kind of spoke around it too. Also, a little bit of gibberish, I guess. But you know, like I said, politicians are a politician. They all do it. Trump does it. Obama did it. Everybody does it. They, they, they talk around. Couple. If there's questions they, they they get asked that they want to answer or they have a concise answer, they're going to talk gibberish around that and pull out a word salad on that. So she's not. She's just guilty as anybody else. So. You know, this, this is it for me. I'm going to always keep it real. I'm always going to keep it honest. You know, and that's that. So that's my, my, my reaction to uh, the uh, scene and interview with Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. Um, I wonder how many more interviews that we do between now and Election Day. I don't think the interviews are going to really matter in the end. Although she had to do it. I think the debate's going to have more consequence of selection than anything. So, all right, I'm done. I'm, I've got to go to work now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.